Okay guys, so we're back. So it's probably been 20, 30 minutes since our first application. Um, I went ahead and I took some adhesive spray and gave it a good coating of this. And now that's dry. And so what I'm doing is I'm just going ahead and I'm crunching down, trying to flatten and get off any excess or anything that's, you know, most of the prickly part down and off and anything that didn't stick to it. Get that off the cup before we apply the next layer. Okay, so because I'm going to get glue on or dill on my brush this time instead of dipping it straight in there, I'm, whoo, that's a lot of glue. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in a cup and start coating it again. And I'm not going to go fast at all this time because I don't want to start pulling it. You're going to get quite a bit of glue and I should probably move my dill before it ends up covered in glue. Okay. And sometimes it's just easier to just kind of drizzle it. While you're applying it, it's also filling in any holes and making sure that you're matting this down so that you don't have a lot of like little bumps and craters and dimples and things like that on it. So don't apply a lot of pressure, but try to apply it, you know, some while you're smoothing it down. Also, you don't want all this glue if you're pouring it on like I am to be settling in one spot. Daddy's home. 
Cooper. <laughs> we're filming, don't swear. Huh? I said we're filming, don't swear. What? I'm making the dill video, don't swear. <laughs> Don't come in here saying F you, blah, 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 blah. Okay. He's been running back and forth to Ace for stuff. For the last probably two weeks now with this cup rotisserie. <laughs> also, make sure the rim of it, you really pay close attention to that. Make sure that it's evenly dilled, it's evenly glued. Okay, so once we get the second coat of dill applied, we're gonna need to let that sit overnight to make sure that all of this glue dries and I will make part three of probably part four or five of these videos um, for the dill edition tomorrow um like i said as soon as it dries we'll start video three of epoxying um stage one and depending on how stage two turns out that will tell us if we need to do a third coat of epoxy and that's all pre label epoxy so it, it takes quite a quite a bit of epoxy to make it perfect. I'm hoping second time's the charm here. Okay. So, let's season. <laughs> Get this one out of here. Can't set it down. Okay, we'll just do this. Okay. And I still have my original dill on this mat. I didn't see any use of cleaning it up when I was just going to get it back out again. Try to make sure that there's no glue spots. I mean, you'll still see some glue shining through, but make sure that there's not any severe holes. I 
don't think I'm going to be much happier with this one than the first one. I just love the bottom of this one. Okay, guys, so there you have it. It's perfectly coated and covered in dill. You will not need a third coat of dill. Um, so do not worry about that. You are done dilly. All right, so tomorrow, like I said, once it's completely dry, um, there's no squishiness to the texture. Um, I will upload part three of starting the epoxy process. All right, thank you guys.